Hi, I'm Tony from realmeneatgreen.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a million dollar mushroom burger. We've got portobello mushrooms and these are the steak of the mushroom world. They're chewy and meaty, kind of like a steak, and they broil so well, or if you have a barbecue, they grill up really, really nicely. So I'm going to show you how to season these and make them really, really good. So first I'm going to wash them because they tend to collect dirt. So you want to wash the caps, make sure you wash really thoroughly. And sometimes the gills underneath, they can collect dirt, so make sure you wash those really, really well. Or you can scrape them out too, they kind of have a slightly bitter taste. I'm gonna leave them in today. Make sure you pull the caps. And be really, really careful, because if you pull too hard, you could break the whole mushroom. So I'm just gonna wiggle back and forth. There you go. You can save these for stock or salad or whatever. We need two cloves of garlic. Let's give them a good mince. So we need a big bowl. We're gonna add about a quarter cup, a cup of olive oil. And about two tablespoons of a balsamic vinegar. Got some nice organic balsamic here. Yeah, that's good. Throw in our garlic. All right, so for the seasonings, I've got here some nice chili pepper, gives it some heat. And I've got something called danajiru, it's an Indian spice. It's a mixture of uh, cumin and coriander, but if you don't have any, have you have any danajiru, you can just add some cumin, that works too. Otherwise you can find it at an Indian grocer. All right, that's stuff in there. Now I'm gonna add some nice oregano. Yeah, about a teaspoon's good. I'm gonna stir that up. So this is gonna be our marinade. I'm gonna add our mushrooms. Should give them a nice stir in there. Flavors really get in there. All right, I'm gonna let these marinate for maybe 15 to 20 minutes, and that should be good. And they'll be ready to go onto the grill or into the oven. So portobello mushrooms are great on the barbecue, but if you don't have a barbecue, I have a good tip for you. You take a cookie sheet, line it with some foil, and put a baking rack on top. And there you go, we're gonna put that under the broiler. It'll give it some nice grill marks. Just make sure you give it a nice light greasing. Our mushrooms have been marinating for about 15, 20 minutes, and we're gonna take them out. Put them in the oven. Let's turn on the broiler. So let's get rid of some of the liquid. We're gonna put it cap side down. And there's just a lot of garlic down there, so I'm gonna try and get some of that. I want a lot of flavor in my mushrooms. There you go. All right, now these are ready to go under the broiler. We're gonna put them in for about five minutes on each side. While our mushrooms are broiling, I'm gonna cut up some vegetables for our burgers. Got some nice fine tomatoes here. All right, our portobellos are just about ready to come out of the oven. I'm just gonna take them out for a little bit and put on the cheese. Because my favorite part of a burger is having that nice melted cheese on top. I've got some nice provolone. But if you wanna keep this um, burger vegan, one of my viewers suggested using Daya cheese. I haven't tried it yet, but I heard it's, it's quite good. So that's a good option. Let's go right on top there. Got some nice Kaiser buns, got from the bakery. Put that in the oven for a little bit. 
still really hot from broiling, so so one or two minutes in there will be nice. I'm gonna get my toppings ready. I got my tomatoes, I got my lettuce, and I got something really awesome. I got some, some roasted bell peppers. They're nice and sweet and they're roasted so that they have a nice toasty flavor. So awesome in sandwiches. And I have some nice sauteed onions. Get ready to take it out. Oh yeah. Got some mayo. And this stuff I'm using here, it's actually not mayonnaise, it's called the mayonnaise. There's uh, no eggs in here. So for all you friends out there who are uh, allergic to eggs, it's a great alternative, but it is soy based. Let's take one of these, fry it up. Let's see here, I got some lettuce. I got my tomatoes. Top it off with some nice roasted bell pepper and some nice sauteed onions. And there you go, there's a million dollar mushroom burger. One of these babes, once a week, cut down your meat and you'll see a big difference in your health and in the environment. So give it a try, let me know how it goes. And if you want more recipes, check out realmaneatgreen.com. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. It was delicious. Bye. Bye. <laughs>